On the topic of branding, recently I've noticed that there's been a new sort of resurgence in branding for state parks and national parks. So we're going to do the same thing. If you uh, were to Google this and just look up state parks and stuff, you'd see several different um, things. One thing that I, I, they tend to all have in common is they all have these sort of um, landscape uh, or backgrounds that tend to have um, uh, some muted colors and stuff, these, these sort of uh, illustrations and stuff. Um, so this is kind of fun. Um, this right here is kind of neat as well. And it'll cut out as well. Um, you can look through these and you can kind of get some um, some sort of uh, uh, you know ideas of what we're looking at. This one I think is more like uh, in kind of in tune as to what we're going to be doing today. Um, so if you look over here at this thing I made, I made a, um, a little design based off of George L. Smith State Park. If you were to go to George L. Smith State Park, you know, look that up, you can see it's got a bunch of, uh, it's like a it's like a lake in the middle, or a pond rather, that has um, a bunch of cypress trees sort of growing out of the water, right? So it's a little cypress swamp. So I think I used this picture here, this, this tree in particular here. Um, and essentially, I just uh, made a, a, a sort of a simple illustration of this based off of the uh, off of the trees you see. So just real kind of simple. There's the water. There's the trees. There's the there's the sky up there, right? And so that and have it all kind of like frame inside the slopes. But the big thing that we're looking at right here, are the more I would say more salient thing is we're looking at the idea of putting something on a uh, ellipse, and it works a little bit differently um, than when you're putting stuff onto a circle. So if I were to like put something on a circle here, if I were to just draw a circle, I would just real quick draw a circle. So just draw a circle, and then just duplicate this. Edit, duplicate, and just um, maybe shrink this down some. It doesn't matter how big or how small we shrink it. Let's see, edit, duplicate. Um, if I were to uh, change the color, you can see that like no matter what I do, the distance between the edges is all the same, right? So um, if I were to say, for instance, draw an ellipse uh, instead of a circle, obviously we've done this before. Where like when we um, so edit, edit, duplicate. And when we were to resize it, essentially, um, after a second, the distance between the top and the bottom becomes uh, less than the distance between the sides because we're we're sort of um, keeping the ratio of height to width, but not necessarily the ratio in terms of like the curvature and stuff. So we need to uh, perform the offset, but in uh, Graphic Designer, it's what we call the inset. So we modify, we go to path, and we go to... Um, expand shrink now precisely what we'll need to do to um, expand and shrink that is uh, going to be based off of the font we use so let's real quick create our little text here before we do that i'm going to ask you guys to go and find a georgia state park find a georgia state park so if i go over here to the georgiastatepark.org uh, website you can find a park and you can find a big old list of these things and you can find um several different things so you've got you know, the Etowah Indian Mounds up in Cartersville, which is really cool. I mean, you've got, um, I think one of my favorites is Red Top Mountain, um, which has some incredible, you know, uh, hiking trails and some incredible, um, you know, uh, kayaking sites and stuff. Uh, if you were to, you know, go a little closer to home, there's High Falls State Park, which has a beautiful, you know, waterfall, obviously, and there's the High Falls. Gotta stay off the rocks, though, because they might kill you. Um, and then, um, uh, if you were to go back here, and then I recently went to Sweet River Creek State Park, which is really nice. Um, lots of cool um, relics there. An old uh, Civil War mill that's uh, that's still still standing. And uh, yeah, so there's a lot of really cool uh, places here and there. So think about which one you want to do, and um, whatever one you want to do, just uh, find a picture of it, right? So for instance, I I googled um, George L. Smith State Park, and I found this little picture of of, of this right here. And you're gonna create uh, after a you know interval here, you're gonna create your own little. Um, uh, illustration of this and I'll, I'll kind of give you a little more instructions on how to create the illustration. So um, as far as this goes, um, let me just real quick go back over here to Graphic Designer. I'm going to create my ellipse and let's have our ellipse be like six by four, like two, two, three by two, right? So I'm going to make this 600 pixels wide and 400 pixels tall, right? And um, I'll just pull this over here and I'll get my text and I'll just click on top of the text here and I'll just type in George, all caps here, George L. Smith State Park. Obviously, um, how many caps, uh, if it's if it's going to be big or small, it's up to you. Um, but um, um, uh, the lowercase or uppercase is up to you. But just recall that if you have, you know, words like G or Y or P, and there's like, you know, a stem hanging down below the baseline, um, that might uh, mess up how big or how small you want your sort of like, um, a little band that this is going to fit inside. All right, so as far as that goes, um, let's um, change this font to something that you can remember. I'm going to change mine to, we'll say, 
So I'm not gonna remember. I keep forgetting these things. So I'll, I'll change mine to. Oh, that's fine. Okay, you know this is Miltonian tattoo. Um, whatever that is, and I'll make, change this to say for instance thirty six. Uh, that's kind of neat. And um, let me just get my move out of the way here. I'll just, just scoot this this way here. And once again, try to make it as centered as you possibly can. And so the, you can you can tell that's going to be centered by virtue of going to modify and going to create compound shape or path, convert to path, and you can kind of see where these line up. So it's not quite right. Let me just real quick and tweak this over just slightly. So modify path. Modify. That's better. Um, okay, so that's about centered. Um, the G and the K are about even. And um, then what we'll do is we'll just take this right here. Now this is going to be a little complex. We're going to go over here to um, our uh, modify path and we're going to go to expand shrink. And so because uh, I opted to type in 36 for my font, um, that's, what you, that's what I want to type in here. I'm typing 36 and it'll expand it out 36 points. Okay, well not quite actually. What happened here? Yeah, 36. Well, I'm, I'm seeing there's actually an interesting little space above it here, so I'm not sure. Maybe not 36. Here, well, what we'll do is we'll, um, we'll, we'll kind of like experiment with this here. So let me just one more time. Uh, modify path. Oops. Modify path. Convert to path. Maybe I'll go over here to this T. And I'll give myself a little rectangle here. And I'll just draw a little box around this T here and see how tall this is. 25.4 so about 25.4 okay um all right so given that um given that the size there of, of my my word here I'll, I'll go over here to modify path expand shrink and i'll just put 25. how about that 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 looks great okay so now you notice that it's if i were to go through each letter um it's it's touching the top of each letter so it's not like it's not like it's getting um, further away as as we go as we go past right so this is this is the actual offset so we, we've changed everything here so um, all right so with that done I'll just um, take my text down here and I'll just click on this and um, if that's not working then what you can do is you can um, use your measurements to create a new um, new ellipse and stuff and I'll just say um, twin city GA which is the city that it's in so find not which city it's in and let me just save this real fast. Once again, I'll click on this and I'll make sure it's reversed. And I'll just drag this down here to the bottom. Change back to something tattoo. Let me make this a bit smaller. So maybe instead of being thirty six, it'd be twenty four. I think it'd be thirty six. And uh, we'll just do it this way. And we'll improve the spacing some just to space out the tops of letters. We don't want those tops of letters to be touching. Um, all right, so with that done, um, now what we can do is this. We can um, grow this out a little bit more. So I might just um, go to modify path, um, expand shrink, and I might maybe expand it up five pixels here. And uh, oops, let me just real quick take this and go to modify path, convert to path here. Okay, so make sure you don't have anything spelled wrong here. I'll try it one more time. Modify path, expand shrink, and I'll expand it, say for instance, 10. And recall, this was like 25, so this is like 25 plus like 20, then it'll be 45. So I'll just make this down. So I'm going to go to edit, and I'm going to duplicate, and we do some math here. So I expand it at 10. I, I put it up 25, and so I want it to go down 10, so I'll pull it down 45 here. So we just change this to like red or something like that. And I'll go over here to uh, modifying path, 
expand shrink. Oh, let's think here, maybe negative 20, negative 45. Let's see if that works. Oops, not quite. How about this? How about I just do this number here? I just um, pull it down to like, say for instance. How about this? I'll just, I'll just do 670 and I'll just pull it down to, uh, say for instance, 625. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll do this one as well, 425. Not quite. All right, I just eyeball this. Pull it down, and then we can just. Alt drag from the center here to get this look right. Okay, this looks right. Okay, cool. All right, anyways, um, okay, so just you want to make sure that like there's just an, a consistent line underneath uh, and above your, your letters here. All right, so with that done, um, what we can do is we just um, uh, delete this. We're going to do more little here, subtract. And uh, now we have a little band here. So now you've got a couple options. I want you to find a color palette here. So you can go to whatever color palette generator you want. I'm going to go to color.adobe.com. And um, what you'll do is you'll just find yourself, like, if you go over here to explore and say, for instance, yours is like um, a mountain, right? And so just look up mountain, right? Uh, and so then you can find, like, a series of uh, colors that might reflect a mountain. If yours is like a trail or like a pond, you can look up pond. You can look up swamp. I looked up swamp for mine, I want to say. And I found some some uh, really nice dark colors here. So I look up swamp. Um, you can look up some some colors there. Um, okay, so just real quick to kind of recap uh, the way that you use um, this. So this is actually kind of nice because what this is is like um, basically the, um, the situation I was in. Right? So um, well, when you when you draw with this, um, obviously you want to make sure you're saving constantly. But um, one thing to note: it's the same rule as before. If you want, say for instance, to um, gather together. Say for instance, I have this ellipse in the middle here, right? I got this ellipse right here. So you can just kind of draw yourself an ellipse in the middle there. You can freehand that. And I have a series of circles that are like around it up on the top here. So if I go to my like fill and I change it down here. So, so draw your, you know, draw your landscape, right? Or what, whatever you got kind of going on here. And you've got multiple shapes here, right? Um, once again, what you'll want to do in order to make sure that everything is consistent on uh, the outside is you'll want to um, take this shape here and you'll want to duplicate it so you edit to duplicate and you can control D on the keyboard here and then um, from here you can control shift and then up on the keyboard and then so now you've got this ellipse here so this this um this gray ellipse and you could just how many times do you need this one two three four five six seven eight so I'm gonna hit duplicate seven times one two three four five six seven and oops that's good. So one by one, I'll just go through here and I'll just go to intersect. 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 So be, be kind of cautious as to what you put outside your circle because it's uh, possible that you'll get there and you'll think, oh gosh, I don't even know how to go about um, intersecting all these things here. So, but notice again, I've, I've duplicated that, um, that ellipse enough times to where now um, I can kind of go through and so let's kind of pull this away here. Oops. All right, so that's, that's, that. so that, that's about right. All right. So again, um, just take, take a second to do like, uh, let's say like three different levels, or in this case, I got like four different levels together. I got sky, water, tree, tree, right? So just four different levels, um, four different kind of uh, color schemes. Change the color of your font, change the color of your band around the font. So you notice I have got like the whites on top of the brown, and I've got like the dark water, and I've got the, the trees and whatnot. So just double check that you've got like, you know, a, sort of a, a, a complimentary, pleasant um, uh, palette. And uh, yeah, just uh, have, have fun designing this and um, find, like base it off of a Georgia State Park. All right, very cool. Well, cannot wait to see you guys come up with, uh, I'll put some more specific instructions on it as far as how I want this to be designed in your D2L Dropbox. Very cool, see you in class.